see Orlando on the map. And we know that the green means rain, right? Uh, yeah, well, it's still raining there uh, in uh, central Florida. Uh, the worst of the storm probably over for mm -hmm. Florida. Now it's kind of a clean up, you know, yeah. assess what, what happened. You can see it here over the last 24 hours was a category four around this time yesterday. It weakened into a three at landfall and still a powerful hurricane though. And it's now a category one off the coastline of Florida. Here it is at landfall 830 last night near Siesta Key. Here's Tampa Bay, St. Pete, Sarasota's right in here. It's right around Siesta Key with winds of 120 miles an hour. Take a look at some of the wind gusts in that area area a pair called Skyway Fishing Pier 103 mile an hour gust St. Pete 101 mile an hour gust Tampa Airport even gust to the 91 Old Port Tampa 91 there were gusts of 50 miles an hour in Orlando earlier in the morning you can see the storm now continuing to work its way away from the shoreline of Florida on the east coast of Florida but Daytona Beach still gusting to 58 miles an hour Cocoa Beach gusting to 40 miles an hour and in Orlando with some showers still gust to 33. So with that, we're also looking at a storm surge on the backside of Milton. We've got a northeasterly wind kind of pushing the water onto the east coast of Florida now. So they're expecting a three to five foot storm surge from Cocoa Beach through the Space Coast all the way up past Daytona Beach and into Jacksonville and even into South Carolina as well. Temperatures right now locally we're in the 40s, 47 in Providence, Newport 49, New Bedford 40. 47. Got some decent waves here in southern New England, by the way, completely unrelated to Milton. Milton, no impact to us. We've got blue sky in Narragansett. Look at that blue sky in Newport. Just a gorgeous day. 49 wind from the northwest, 14 miles an hour. It's kind of breezy. It'll remain breezy through the day. We had this uh, one little weather system, a weak one, pass on by during the overnight, kind of uh, helping to reinforce some cool air in southern New England, and it's going to be cool today, topping out at about 60 degrees or so. Typically, we should be in the mid 60s this time of year. We're going to be dry all day. Now look at tonight getting down to around 39 degrees late in the night. Some of the more sheltered valleys could be around freezing late in the night. And look, yeah, it's possible we could see the Aurora tonight. There's a severe geomagnetic storm headed our way will impact Earth tonight and it might be naked eye visible. So something to keep your eye on for tonight, even as soon as it gets dark, we could be looking at those northern lights. Tomorrow, chilly start in the afternoon, not quite as cool, be topping out around 66 degrees, dry tomorrow. Saturday's looking fantastic, 71 with sunshine. I think we're dry Sunday during the day, maybe some rain showers Sunday night and into early on Monday. You can always find that forecast and a lot more weather information, including tons of weather info about Milton on our Pinpoint Weather 12 app. All right, here's Melissa with one final check.